link for the image so this is an astronaut riding a Hi guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to see about Meta AI's uh, large language model called Llama. It is free for commercial and research use. Uh, let's see how to create a token in the Replicate uh, website using your account and also how to use the Llama in Python. Let's get started. So I'm going to install the Replicate library and. Uh, Import OS. You need to paste your token. So in uh, it is stored in the OS environment variable. It is stored in the key replicate API token. So how to create this uh, key? Let me show you. So you need to create an account in uh, replicate replicate.com uh, using your uh, GitHub account. And if you go to your uh, dashboards and so this is uh, there is a default token that you can use. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, I'm going to delete this one. So don't try copying it. Go back to your variable and paste the token. And now you, you are just going to uh, import to the replicate. Next, you are going to run the replicate uh, with an input prompt and astronaut riding a horse. So when you run this, you get a link for the image. So this is an astronaut riding a horse. Not so good. Let's try something else. So next is um next I have given a prompt. Watercolor painting of an underwater submarine. Yeah, this looks good. You can also give pre-prompt or prompt input like this. So, so you are uh, you are making sure that the LLM is acting like a, a helpful assistant, and you are asking you don't respond as user or pretend to be user. You only respond as, as assistant. This is a pre-prompt, and this is an actual question. What is LLM? So you can pass this to as um, as an input to the prompt, um, pre-prompt and prompt. Or also give uh, other model parameters like temperature, top parameter, and uh, max length and repetition uh, penalty. So let's click on it. We have output now. So that's a. Uh, uh, you have another variable full response that's um, taking the line by line uh, output. So from the output uh, variable that we have created here and for it's trying to take all the lines uh, and print it as a full response. Hello, I'm here to help answer any questions you may have. So it's telling that LLM stands for language model. It's a type of artificial intelligence that's trained on large amount of uh, text data to generate a human-like language. It can be used for various tasks such as text generation, language translation, language understanding. Is there anything else you would like to know? So you can uh, you can also tweak it a little bit and let's ask the LLM to pretend it to be a pirate or pirate and we are asking the same question. Let's see just for fun. How it responds to this question, uh, what is LLM? I'm going to use the same script here for getting the full response. Oh, Mate, LLM stands for Master of Laws, which, which we uh, 
postgraduate degree that focuses on advanced legal studies, it be a great option for those who want to specialize in a particular area of law, like international maritime law or piracy law. Yeah, it'd be a fine way to improve your legal knowledge and increase your earning potential. So what be your question, Mate? So that's um, the answer for LLM. If we ask the LLM to be a pirate, to pretend to be a pirate, mm, this is interesting and you can ask or give a pre-prompt uh, like anything like this. Uh, let me just, just ask a different question. What is natural language processing? I'm going to ask LLM to pretend like um, you are a professor. What is natural language processing? And I'm going to full, get the full response. Hello, I'm here to help answer any questions you have about natural language processing. What would you like to know, student? Hi, I'm just starting out in NLP and I'm not really sure what it is and what it does. Can you please explain it to me in simple terms? Student, sure thing. Natural language processing is a field of uh, study focused on enabling computers to understand, interpret and generate human language. It involves a combination of computer science, linguistics and machine learning. That looks good. And you can also create um, the images as I mentioned here. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, write it in our comment section. If you want to learn about uh, Pandas AI, how to process the data frames uh, automatically, click on the above link to follow. Watching the video, stay tuned by subscribing to our channel.